If you get this display on your console, it means one of three things. The rapture has occurred, your battery is dead, or you just have a bad connection to the battery. Check that one first. And if the battery is bad, you're going to need to replace it. This is what it looks like if you stand in front of the tractor and look down into the engine compartment at your battery. The first thing you want to remove is the latching mechanism for the hood. This is showing what it looks like. It connects to the little slot where you stick your key in to open it. That just pulls out. And then you undo these two screws and remove the entire mechanism. And it's, it's one piece, so it's pretty easy to do. I'm going to show it in reverse now. I forgot to video taking it out, but this is putting it back in so you'll get the idea. Once you remove the latching mechanism, now you want to unplug the harnesses going to each of the headlights and just tuck them out of the way. Then you'll want to remove one of the headlights. They, they just, the battery won't go in with both headlights in there. Now in this case, I'm showing it, reinstalling it, and I cut these screws off. They're, they're long and they're weird. They don't need to be there, so I just cut them off with a grinder. And you just undo the two bolts and you can pull the light out. Here I'm showing you what these bolts look like before I cut them. They've got a, kind of an unusual head on them. Most people don't have this tool. And you, don't, you don't need to use it or remove the bolts. You only need to remove the nuts on one side of the light near the center of the tractor. The other two nuts and bolts just slide into little notches in the tractor. Finally, just remove the power cables, negative and positive, from the battery. And now you can begin to lift the battery out. Okay, the battery lifts out pretty much the same way it goes in. Here I'm showing putting the new battery in. You have to kind of tilt it at an angle, and then it's awkward. There's a little pocket at the bottom of the tractor that it's got to nestle into, so just keep fussing around until you get it in place. Then you'll reconnect your battery cables, and if you have any accessories, attach those wires at the same time. Also, there's a little bungee cord strap that holds the battery down secure. Reattach that at both ends so it's holding the battery down. When you reattach the main cables to the battery, do the positive first, then the negative. Then, of course, reattach your lights and the, and the locking mechanism for the hood, and you should be all set to go. This video is brought to you by TractorAftermarket.com. We are selling products for small tractors, so hope you can check us out. Thanks for watching.